Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can set up the basic platform in order to develop the web application with the help of Joomla, that is open source content management system. So in, the, in previous video, we have already discussed that uh, we can host the website in two ways, either on intranet or over internet. So now we are not going to discuss about the internet we are going to discuss about how we can host the website directly on internet so i am going to start the basic uh, fra right from the beginning till in how we can i mean so host the website on internet so understand uh, here that as uh, we discussed in the previous video that we must have one setup where we need to host our website or whatever the application means Joomla what we are going to use so whatever the application we develop with the help of Joomla it should be hosted here in the platform so in as we discussed in the previous video that we need PHP MySQL and Apache web server so either there are two ways either you can request your computer department and they can provide all the I mean, uh, web space including all these three software um, after integrating and they can provide you the detail or you can directly purchase the domain from uh, directly from the host service provider there are many and uh, you can buy it uh, with very minimal cost and nowadays it is very cheap so uh, there are different kind of hosting services like shared hosting vps or dedicated server or your personal server so I am going to talk about the shared hosting you can buy it from the uh, I, I have taken from the host repulse uh, this is uh, uh, the host service provider and uh, you can buy it uh, directly from the uh, website so the detail of the website is given here www.hostripples.in and when you reach here you can go to shared hosting and here you can choose your plan suppose I want to buy the Linux shared hosting plan so I will click here and it will show me the different plans accordingly I will choose suppose I belong to in I am from India so I will choose my country name here and it will display me the different the plan accordingly I can choose so you can see it is starting right from the rupees 35 per month or most it will come around uh, 7 to 800 rupees if you go for the plan 1 if you go for the plan 2 then what are the services it is giving 100 GB bandwidth unlimited disk space free encrypt SSL 2 GB RAM 30 email accounts and you can host 3 website and 24 7 live support and uh, if you go for this is 99 per month you can go for three year at the rupees 99 per month so accordingly you can calculate or if you don't want to go here you can go uh, to other plans also according to your need and suppose I go for this plan you can get other detail by clicking on info here so if I go for this buy now so it will take me directly to the next page and where it will show the detail so it is asking me you just register a new domain or if you don't want to register a new domain and you are already having your own domain which you have taken from other uh, website or your institute has provided the subdomain name or domain name and you don't have web space so that also is possible you can configure it later but i suggest that uh, you take the domain uh, from the same place so that it, you will get both the support for if any problem arises for the domain or if any problem arises for the web space then both you can get it um, get support from the particular web uh, hosting provider so here I can see there are different domain uh, type here so by default is a dot com if you go for this one you can choose your particular name for example I go for dptriparty.com and I, before proceed to book the domain name it will check and it will show me that 
whether it is available or not yes it is available congratulations dptripathy.com is available so and apart from this and it is charging me 799 but apart from this if i want to go with some other domain name like dptripathy.org dptripathy.net or co biz top all these so it will charge accordingly as per the uh, the different plan so uh, let's take uh, for example i want to go with this one uh, dptripathy.com so i will proceed here by clicking on continue and when i go for the next button so what it will show it will show me the total setting and summary you can choose your plan and it will show the quarterly you can pay 106 uh, means rupees 507 if you go for semi annually then you have to pay 894 if you go for annual then it will show you the 1548 annual charges and let 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 me take uh, uh, means uh, i want to take for one year so it will cut calculate the price accordingly and total i need to pay 1826 including the domain and web space so when you click on continue then it will ask you to make the payment and when the payment is done when the payment is done what will happen it will send you the full detail the company or the web hosting uh, uh, the hosting services whoever is providing they will provide you the full detail and uh, give you the user id password all the details so that you can log in here it is asking the full means uh, detail once you check out then you see it is uh, gst is applicable so total you have to pay 2769 it all depends on the plan whatever you are going to choose the domain registration and uh, linux plan 1548 and domain uh, here the domain is charged separately here dptparty.com 799 and total you have to pay 2769.461 rupees and it will um, once you make the payment it will so send you full detail for example i have taken one uh, uh, uh dp the party dot in so i after paying this i got my all detail in mail and which i'll be using to log in in the c panel or and the ftp host name all the detail is given here you can see here the login detail uploading your website email setting every detail will be sent to you and uh, once it is sent then you have to access your Uh, means uh, the c panel and you can you have to install the the joomla so in next video we are going to discuss that uh, how uh, we are going to use the c panel and how you are, we are going to set up the uh, basic or install the joomla so thanks for watching this video and uh, we'll see in next video how we can install joomla